should not be judged by what they say they are. They should be judged by what they do. And that's the problem with everything today. People say they're one thing and do another. Antifa, anti-fascists. Oh, you hear the arguments. Oh, weren't the people who landed on Normandy and fought the Nazis anti-fascist? So why would you resist the anti-fascists? Well, the problem is the people who call themselves anti-fascists today are fascists. And this is the problem with many groups that are just self-assigned labels. Of course, someone who wants to be the amazing hero, the liberator, the person who does the great stuff, but really is doing bad stuff, is going to call themselves a good person. They're going to assign themselves some sort of label. But just because someone says, I am Superman, the savior of mankind and the hero, and I save people from all kinds of bad stuff, doesn't mean they actually do it. Because if someone called themselves the Great Liberator, and what they did was put people in prison, if, if what they did was lock people in cells or rooms or whatever, then you wouldn't exactly think they were a liberator. Even though they call themselves that, that doesn't mean they are. So, this is a problem because... I don't know who said it, but someone said when the next fascists come, they'll call themselves anti-fascists. And I'm not, I'm not making this video specifically to rip on Antifa, although they're trash. I'm making it to rip on every single group that assigns themselves a label, but then acts contradictory to that. You are not a good person because you call yourself a good person. Just because you wear the good person outfit doesn't make you a good person. So, it's very important to judge people as individuals. To judge people based on their actions. And if you have to judge people collectively, judge that collective based on their actions as a collective. Don't judge them based on what they call themselves or what other people have done under the same label. For example, if someone says they're a feminist, well, that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. There are people who are self-described feminists who don't do anything wrong. There are people who are self-described feminists who are oppressive assholes that would like for all men to be locked in cages and used as sperm milking cows so that women can run the world. These two things are very different. You cannot take a label and trust it. Evaluate people based on their individual actions. Evaluate groups based on the actions of the composite of the individuals. If the label is something that is mercurial and that can be self-assigned and thereby abused, be very careful about how you judge that label. Be careful to specify that it is certain individuals that you're judging, not everybody who self-assigns that label. Just because someone says they're a feminist doesn't mean they're a bad person. Just because someone says they're Antifa doesn't mean they're a bad person. Uh, someone can get into it because they have noble intentions, but then they become entrenched in this violent ideology, and they don't realize it until it's a little too late, and then they have to reluctantly just sort of plot along, and it can be hard to escape sometimes. Sometimes people go along with stuff out of social pressure. I guess what I'm, what I'm really trying to say right now, while I'm just sitting here thinking and staring at annoying uninstallers because someone had two antiviruses and 100,000 garbage programs from the HP factory install, is that judge people based on their individual behaviors and merits. Don't judge people based on collectivism. Collectivism is evil. Oh my god, am I going to go there? I'm going to go there. Okay. This guy on Twitter, um, there was an argument about whether or not people should be paid for remote work based on where the remote work people are located or where the person is located. So one of the arguments that I saw someone make was, well, if someone gets paid a, a West Coast USA salary and they live in, in Western Europe, they're gonna, it's gonna create this, this new class and, and greatly exacerbate gentrification. Gentrification is bullshit, okay? Gentrif gentrification is absolute bullshit. 
Because the problem with the notion of gentrification is that, oh, there are these people here, and then some other people that are there make more money, and so they get nicer things. Well, you know what? A rising tide lifts all boats. That's why gentrification is bullshit. The notion is that these people who are already there who have no money and no jobs and no just aren't are on a lower economic scale are pushed out because of the richer people. And in some ways that's true. However, at the same time, there are a lot of people who make a lot of bad decisions. Now, here's the problem that I have. Individualism is superior to collectivism. Individuals are more important. Individuals are the greatest minority. Judge individuals individually. So here's the problem. What happens here? is that if you judge individuals based on people around them and you pull this gentrification crap and you say, oh, you shouldn't get paid more money because other people around you don't make as much money, that's evil. That's evil because now you're saying you can't improve your conditions because other people around you have made bad decisions. No, absolutely not. The individual is the greatest minority and that's the end of the story. Judge people individually. If you have to judge them collectively, judge them collectively, but and in as minimal a capacity as possible. Have a wonderful day. I have to go deal with a customer that just pulled up. Take care.